hey, so you've clicked on this video and I'm guessing you want to be able to hit that flop shot really high, just like Phil Mickelson. Well, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how you can do this. Sound good? Awesome, let's get into this. This is Nick Does Golf. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Great to have you here. Today's gonna to be a lot of fun. We're gonna be learning how to hit the flop shot just like Big Phil. So, you've just missed the green, like many golfers do. Right, left, short, long. You've short-sided yourself. Something like this. Or this. So you're in a little bit of trouble. But I'm gonna show you how you can get out of this. So let's get stuck in and have a look. So we're going to attempt this second shot, okay? We've got a lovely, not lovely, downhill slope, little bit of rough before the green, a fringe, and then pretty much the flag. That's all we have to work with. But the first thing I would do is weigh up my options. Do I need to play this shot? There's a bit of rough beforehand, but if I play it down the slope and run it down, it could get stuck, or I could get a hard bounce and it might shoot off the other side of the green. In my opinion, I would have to play the flop shot for this one. So get it nice and high, land it soft, maybe onto the fringe of the green, and then let it slightly release out down the slope towards the flag. Second thing, club selection. Now, we're gonna have a look. For the flop shot, you need the most lofted clubs in your bag, and then you need to weigh up which ones you're gonna use. So for me, I've got my 56 and my 60 degree wedges. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use the 60 degree. Okay, so looking at it from here, I need to land this ball onto the fringe and let it slightly release out. So I need a lot of height for this shot to come off. So once I've done that, I need to weigh up how I'm going to set up to the ball. Length of swing to be able to determine how I'm going to get that ball to where I need to land it for it to finish up next to the hole. So we're going to work that out now. So I've looked at my lie, looks pretty decent. So to get that height, I'm gonna open up my club face as much as I can. I'm gonna take a nice wide stance. I'm gonna sit down into it a little bit more. Okay, and the shaft is gonna be pretty much in line with my belt buckle here. It's not gonna be forwards. It's not gonna be behind. Pretty much pointing straight towards my belt buckle. Okay, I'm gonna weaken off my left hand because I need to get the wrists involved as much as I can. Now, with this shot, one of my tendencies when I used to play this, I used to struggle with, I used to shut the club face from here and then it was very difficult for me to get underneath the ball to get it the right distance to go. So, again, sit down into it, shaft vertical, and then from there, my feeling is cock the wrist from there Okay, and then you're gonna uncock them as you come through the ball. Okay, so it's almost that sort of feeling. We're gonna stay into that left side and then hopefully the ball will go nice and high and sit onto the green where we want it to. With this shot, you need a lot of speed. So I'm gonna create enough speed to get underneath that ball to send it nice and high from there. So let's give this a try. Come on, inner Phil Mickelson. And not a bad result actually. Look at this. Okay, so it landed pretty much pin high and then released out there. But what that's done is that's allowed me to have an uphill putt, a little bit of turn on it, but not too bad of a recovery shot from there. 
So let's have a look from behind and see what that looks like. The number one thing to remember with this shot is to commit to the shot. This is the most important thing that you can ever do with any golf shot. But for this one, most important, keep that club face open on the way back, on the way through impact, and as it goes through towards the target, keep it open, so commit to it. If you do not do this, you're gonna have so many problems trying to get yourself out of trouble, and you're gonna get yourself into even more trouble. I bet you commit to that driver when you're hitting it down a wide par five. So, do it for this shot as well. The flop shot is one of the hardest shots you could play in golf. A lot of practice is needed for this. I know Big Phil makes it look very easy. Just look at some of the videos on YouTube. He makes it look crazy silly, along with a hell of a lot of other professionals. They haven't just done this overnight. They've worked so hard to perfect this shot. They can count on it whenever they need to, and so can you. I hope these tips have given you a lot of confidence going forward for you to be able to do this out on the course when you're practicing or just on the practice green, driving range, etc. A lot of practice is needed, like I've said, but you can do this shot. Just work on the tips that I've given you. It helps me, so it can certainly help you. If you've liked this video, please make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the other videos that I am going to be uploading on my channel. Make sure you like and comment on the videos down below. I'd love to hear how you have got on with this shot. Also, make sure you check out my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok, at Nick Does Golf. And guys, also, share my channel. Make as many people aware of it as you can. I'm sharing loads of my experiences, my tips that I can, passing it on to you to be able to go out and do that on the golf course. My aim is to help as many people around the world as I can. So I want as many people as I can to be watching my channel. So I'm counting on you. It's been a pleasure for me to show you how I hit the flop shot. I hope you can take this on board and go forwards and play some great golf. I look forward to doing many more videos just like this one in the future. Thanks very much for watching and see you very soon.